Got me in a loop Yes, I'm jumping through your hoop I'm captivated Hello, everybody. By It's woolly hat time I've been in the cold, it's November And uh, I'm going to make some A-boards But I've got a slightly different way of doing them this time Which uh, doesn't take quite so long But uh, the material's a bit thicker A little bit more expensive too So, better get on with it From your face I'm under your spell. A long in glance. Right, who cares? This is me. Really 18 millimeter plywood. All I know is time. Nice, please. But now I'm coming. I'm coming. That'll be from it. From the cold. Got me in a loop. Yes, I'm jumping through your feet. I'm captivated by your style. I really love to see you smile. I'm fascinated by your charm. These boards are um, for a greengrocer in town. You know, it's four of them, four A boards. So there's eight pieces of this. They're two foot wide, four foot long. I'm going to cut. Um, a shape out here to make two feet and just round the top corners off to make it look a little bit more interesting and that's all it is and basically just hinge the top but I think that makes a pretty good quick A board even though the wood is quite expensive and this is uh, enough wood here I bought two full size sheets eight foot by four two of them exterior plywood 18 mil and that's cost me 77 pounds uh, which is nearly enough hundred dollars I would have thought but I'm charging plenty on top of that so I'll make my money and uh, it should be a bit of an easier way of making uh, an A board than messing about with bits of 2 by 2 Okay before we go any further uh, in essential bit of kit it's the camera lens mug and it wins out on a number of points here first of all it's quite large and uh, you get plenty of tea in it. Secondly, of course, it looks interesting. Um, it's got a cover to it, so you don't get any sawdust or dust or anything in there. And it's got a rubbery uh, area here that you turn the lens. If it was a lens, it's not a lens, it's a mug. And um, that keeps it, uh, you don't burn your fingers. I'm going to make this six inches up here. Square that off there. And then we'll come in about six or six inches. No, make it eight. Eight inches in, 20 centimeters. And then we'll mark that an angle there and there. And then going to use a pot of paint just to touch it against the two faces so it's sort of a tangent take that round a couple of reasons to do this one it looks so good and secondly when it comes to jigsawing it um, makes it look pretty neat so these would be the feet and that piece once I've cut that out I can just put that in the middle of the next board and, and cut it without measuring up again Okay, I've been marked out here's one that I've started. There's the centre line, there's the middle across there, 12 inches. Line those up, draw around, ready to cut. <coughs> Got a new blade in and uh, glasses on. And there you go. I like to follow this uh, little marker here at the front, you get a nicer curve to it. Right, having got through to the <coughs> straight line, might be good to put a square on there, clamp it down, and follow that to get a really nice. Now, set the 
the uh, here. And don't forget that'll be the back because the cut has left the other side nice and smooth. So that is pretty neat. So that's going to be the front. And for this again, of course, we're just going to take the big tin of paint, which is nice and heavy, stays in place. Quite a big job this, all these, four A boards to make, and just to repeat myself, I'm using masonry paint, black masonry paint, smooth, and I roll up, and away we go, and uh, when it comes to altering any of the information on any of these, it's easy enough to uh, just paint it out. Next I'm going to put the string in which holds the bottom of the uh, board apart. Uh, some uh, nylon rope there, probably about four or five millimetres across. Mark the centre and then with a force and a bit just sink a hole halfway through the wood. And then get another drill bit and finish the hole off. And there's a piece of tape on the string to get it through the hole. But before we do that, we must make the whole thing black. So pop a bit of paint on, wait for it to dry. Right, the construction of these boards is nearly finished. It's an 18mm board, as I've said. And on the back here, I've put um, a piece of uh, one inch square, 25mm square. We screwed in there and lined up some hinges, which I think look quite neat when pressed up against those and that is pretty solid. This um, plywood needs another coat I think on the front, one to clean it up and also just to fill the uh, little bits of uh, grain that are on this plywood um, and maybe a bit more across the top here because all the water comes on here in the rain and uh, that will smooth that off and if there's any inaccuracies as if there would be um, I've marked these A, B and C. So we're nearly ready to do some artwork. Mm. You've got me in a loop Yes, I'm jumping through your hoop I'm captivated by your style I really love Kicking off with the word caves, it's the name of the man. <clears throat> Wide brush, gosh, about three quarters of an inch across. Hold it at this angle. You get a nice square there, so really I've got to do something more here to make that right. And that's a bit thin there. I want it all the same width round, really. I'm going to put come and try our and a delicatessen across there in a sloping line. It'll give me plenty of room to put the other stuff on. Come and try. Come and visit our. Come and see. Oops, there's a bit of a spill. Um, so you just wipe it off and uh, and then get the black paint, and it's always good to have the same black paint around, and just quickly go over it with the roller, which is always wet, you don't have to dip it back in the paint, and then uh, quickly dry 
the whole lot off with the hairdryer. And, uh, but mistakes like that happen, not all the time, but uh, they're easy to correct. Now another way of decorating these letters, <clears throat> here I've put this orange right on the edge of the letter, but here I'm putting, setting it aside so it looks like a shadow, which is uh, another way of doing it. And of course I will got to do my trademark highlight a double dot on there to really make it jump out. <clears throat> so it says shop local, not supermarket. Here we go with a brush in white if, you're running out, if you are running out of space uh, if you go to small letters you get more in Christmas with the board up. As long as you don't hit the roof, gives you a new area to work on. Christmas. You got me in a loop. Yes, I'm jumping through your hoop. I'm captivated by your style. I really love Just got away with it. Smile. I'm fascinated by your charms. I want to take you in my arms. I'm enchanted by your grace. I see it beaming from your face. It looks like I'm underneath your Well thanks for watching this video and uh, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and by all means do so and you can also go to my website which is down below there's a link there. Uh, the song by the way is called Looped, it's from one of my albums and you'll find the link to the SoundCloud uh, connection there as well. So until next time, thanks a lot and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.